There's so much that happens in our world. And what our public radio journalists do is they go out in the world, they try to help us find the human stories. And what happens when we hear stories that really move us is we're compelled to talk about them. We're in the middle of an opioid crisis. Overdoses are killing more people than car crashes in this country. I still didn't really understand this crisis until I, until I started reporting on it. We ask ourselves, what, like, why is this still happening? What can we do um, to help stop it? My younger brother is currently in jail for stealing. Um, he's been a heroin addict for a couple of years. This is a fascinating and eye-opening look into a treatment that I didn't even know existed. And I'm wondering how, as a public health practitioner, a millennial, an avid user of Twitter, how do I promote media that gives solutions? People like you, people who care about this, can make a huge difference because a lot of the problem is not lack of resources, but lack of using the resources that we have right. properly. The goal is to shift where we're going to point the blame at. That's why I'm very thankful for your guys' yeah. reporting and I've used it in my classroom. I realize that these stories are stories that lots of people share. To like see people face to face and hear them say, that's happened to me, that happened to my brother. We know that the opioid crisis is affecting young people. Um, we also know that young people care. We are in a time of action. If we can, you know, be there to do what we've always done as journalists, which is like provide the facts, provide the information, but also provide the stories to inspire that action, great, we're doing our job. This is like this way for this reporting to live on and to like actually have the kind of impact that you want it to have in the first place. To like be able to keep the conversation going, it's really satisfying.